We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas that could help our environment. Cleaning your clothes can actually dirty up the outdoors. So what if we could wash our clothes without water? Planet Forward's Frank Sesno has more. Here's no one's idea of an exciting topic, doing the laundry. But just one typical load of wash drives up your electric bill and uses more than 40 gallons of fresh water. Yes, 40 gallons. So says the EPA. Well, the Zeros cleaning team in Sheffield, England, says they've got an idea that can cut down on the wasted water by up to 80% by using polymer beads. Bill Westwater, yes, that's his real name, Zeros Cleaning CEO, says it all started with research by textile scientists at Leeds University. Food stains are very much like dyes, if you, if you like. They're, they're unwanted coloration. So if they knew how to stick dyes onto polymers, maybe they could translate that knowledge into using the polymers to unstick and take away stains from clothes. That's what they did with the Zero system, filling up a machine with more than 1.3 million tiny beads. The particular polymers that we use actually have an absorbent quality, so the dirt doesn't just stick to the outside of the beads, it actually gets diffused into the center of the beads, and naturally, therefore, you're locking the stain away from the clothes permanently and thus preventing redeposition. The beads can be reused hundreds of times. You've got saving of fresh water, you've got reduction in carbon footprint, and you've got reduction in effluent. It's not just the water. The system relies on humidity and uses much lower temperatures. So? You don't need to use nearly as much detergent. In fact, in our testing, we can get superior cleaning results with half the amount of recommended detergent that you'd put in a conventional washer. Industrial-sized washers are already in use. Zero says they're working to bring the technology to the consumer market and at a competitive price. And, they say, to move the planet forward. Planet Forward's Frank Sesno joins us now from George Washington University. So, Frank, when can I buy one of these things? Well, if you're really lucky and you're really out there and you really want all those beads in your wash, you can go out, they say, two to three years from now, uh, residential consumer washers should be available. They say it should cost right around the same amount as what you'd pay for a washer now. But, and, and they are in industrial use now. But here's my question, okay? So if your washer spills now, it's like a real mess and you've got to clean up all that water. But you know how to do it. What are you going to do if 1.3 million beads spill out of that thing? So I think there better be uh, a little fail-safe going on there because those beads are going to be uh, nasty to clean up. You make a good point, Frank. I'm going to have to think about this one. It's going to be a tough call, <laughs> though I do want to help the it, environment. If you could, if you could, if we do it, saving 80% of the water and half the detergent. That could be really huge. So this could be, could be a game changer, you know? It's all in the Right, beads. but it has to be convenient, too. Convenience is important for people like me who have no time. It should work. Okay. It should work. <laughs> <laughs> Planet Forward's Frank says no. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have an Thank idea you. you would like to submit to Planet Forward, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability.